All right, welcome back, everybody. May the Most High bless you. I pray everybody's still doing well. Welcome to another Bible study. My title now says, Fools Who Think They Are Wise. And we all know wisdom comes from the Most High. But then the world have they worldly wisdom. And we all know who's wise. And then you ought to see a fool coming a mile away. Because a fool, you can't tell nothing. A fool know it all. A fool is stupid. You can't tell a fool nothing, but you can tell an ignorant person something. Some of y'all know what I mean when I say ignorant, which simply means not knowing. But you can't tell a stupid person something. So people who think they are wise, but they really are fools. You know, there is no excuse at all us as human beings we are without an excuse because the word is in front of us it's on your phone you can buy a bible in a dollar store you see it on the internet you see it on television but we also know everybody not preaching truth but you can either live holy or you can live like you wicked our father don't make us do nothing because he didn't create robots. So I'm not ashamed of the gospel as Apostle Paul said. I'm not ashamed of it neither. So if you have your Bibles, we're going to go back to the book of Romans chapter 1. Y'all just keep up with me because I'm still on fire. The Holy Ghost is, is, is hot. This word is powerful. The Most High shows us in Romans chapter 1. His anger against sin. Sinful humanity. So we're going to look at verses 18 through 32. The ungodly will be cut off. Those who have a reprobated mind, Brother K. Ray, it's no chance for them. They have rejected the Most High. They love evil. And they're going to have their part in the lake of fire. So I want to say this before we get into these scriptures. And y'all know what I'm about to say now. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the divine asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow. It's a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. I know some of y'all tired of me saying that. But I'm not just saying it so it just sounds good. Because it don't feel too good, do it? I'm saying it because we need to live that. And we need to understand about this word. We better learn that this word is real and it's sharp and it's cutting. And after a while, grace and mercy going to run out. Have I got somebody's attention? Let's look at verse 18. Let me move down. Verse 18 says, For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. See, right off top, the Most High shows us how angry he is with all the wicked and evil things that the wicked people are doing. And you know what they're doing? Trying their best to crush the truth. What's my title again? Fools who think they are wise. So they have their own little messed up worldly wisdom. They live totally against the Most High. Well, let's take a good look at America right now. Every sin you pretty much can think of is being legalized now. And it's, it's, it's what was considered wrong now is considered right. Somebody might not want to stand for the truth, but I think I will. Now, let me say that right. I know I will, and I am. As Pastor Terry K. Anderson said, talk back to me if you can. Verse 19 says, because that which may be known of God is manifested in them, for God had showed it unto them. Well, look at this. These old wicked fools, they know everything. <laughs> what, what you saying, JT? Well, catch why I say they know everything, because they think they know everything. But our Father is showing us. He has showed who he is. He has showed, he has taught who he is. How many times in the Bible did the Most High reveal how powerful 
He's the Almighty. There is no other God. He's the highest. Everybody else is a fake wannabe that can die and, and is not real. See, other people got to create their God. Some people are serving statues that fall over and break. And then they'll make another one. I, I love the fact that the one that I serve can no, cannot die, can't break, can't nothing happen to him. And he promised me I could be with him forever. I think I'll take that route. But the ungodly, which he's talking about, this is Peter right here. I'm sorry, Paul. These ungodly folk that Paul is talking about, they care none for being godly or righteous. They done heard the truth, but they done rejected it. Look at verse 20. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so they are without excuse. The Most High's eternal power and character is awesome. But see, but if you can't see spiritually, you can't see it at all. But from the beginning of the creation, he has shown who he is once again. He said once again, all of us are out. We are without an excuse. Some will say, well, he was talking, you know, this, this, these, these are the Gentiles. Well, what do you think Gentiles is? Many, just nations, different people made up of many. But the Bible also said Jews and Gentiles will be saved. So everybody got a chance of salvation. But the majority are going to choose to go to damnation. Boy, that sounds like a good video title. Ooh, I like that, Father. Everybody got a chance of salvation. If you living and breathing and you got, you got a chance to get it right, but the reprobated mind, they done already rejected. See, it might be somebody ignorant looking at this video, which simply means not knowing once again, who can come into the knowledge the Bible already told us wisdom is the principal thing. Seek it, get it. And all you're getting, get an understanding. How can you understand the most high without wisdom? Wisdom comes from him. We are without excuse. Look at verse 21. Because they, when they knew God, they glorified him not as God. Neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. In other words, they didn't honor the Most High. They didn't even thank the Most High. Their thoughts was useless. They stupid in their mind. They living in darkness and they don't want to come to the light. This sounds like the majority of our kin folks right now. Go ahead and say amen. If you don't want to say amen, then you that jacked up kin folk that need deliverance. You that one still sitting in the church claiming to be so saved and sanctified and most messed up one in there. Let me leave it alone. I failed three people. Just cut the video off. That's all right. I pray for you. These are fools who think that they are wise. My title once again, fools who think they are wise. Look at verse 22. Now y'all wonder where I get this title from. Professing themselves to be wise. Karma. They became fools is what the Bible says. Foolish people. This verse right here is so powerful. Because if you take a good look at the world and what the world is doing, quote unquote worldly wisdom, which don't match up with the most highest wisdom, that's what most people are falling for, caught up in. Everybody now want fortune and fame. They want to be rich. They want to be some kind of star. They want to get ahead of somebody. They don't care who they got to kill, beat up, or do whatever to to get to the next level. That's foolish, but they professing themselves to be wise. They love to live foolish. I'd rather choose to live wise. Forget about all the money. Forget about living a, a foolish lifestyle. I'd rather, I'd rather be wise. Solomon showed us a great deal on this. I done seen it all. I done done it all. There is nothing new. I have lived that life. I was on top and then I was on the bottom. How can the wisest man, as the Bible say, in his end let those women turn his heart from the Most High? 
So you got to be careful what you up in. See, you can still be wise and make some foolish decisions. But what I love about Solomon, he, he came back and he, he just showed his fault. Just like David, like his father David. I messed up, but I repented and I'll never do it again. To live like a fool, you are on your way to the lake of fire. As many men say, what well, gasoline draws on. Y'all, when you think of a fool, and then you think of wisdom, somebody that's wise, why do you think wise people don't spend no time arguing with a fool? Most of the time when you see somebody arguing, that's two fools. That's why when you walk up, you can't tell who is the foolish, who's the most foolish one, because none, none of them is getting they really getting their words across. They just foolish. But a godly woman or a godly man know that wisdom is the principal thing. Look at verse 23. And change the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man. And to birds and four four-footed beasts. And creeping things. In other words, look at what they replaced the Most High with. They didn't worship the Most High. Instead, they made up idols. They idol worship. They worship idols that are made to look like humans who can't live forever. What did Israel make a statue of? Hmm. You see people worshiping animals now, reptiles. Birds, picture frames, you name it. It's, it's all kind of idol worship out here now. See, he said, Paul says in, in Romans that they, they changed the glory of the uncorruptible most high into an image made like to corruptible man. This is why I did this video a while back about the image. How we have destroyed the image. I'm not even going to get into that. Let me leave that alone. That's a whole nother video. Part 3 coming later. Verse 24 says, Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Whoo! How many people really don't want to hear verse 24? Wait a minute, JT. You just said the Most High gave them up. That's what the Bible just said. To uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts. This is why if your heart is wicked, you just ain't no good. They dishonor their own bodies. And when you dishonor your own body, I hope I can get about 16 women. There it is. And men. When you, when you dishonor your own body, that means you will let anything and anybody do anything to your most precious body. That's why I feel so sorry for a woman that'll sell her body, a hooker, a prostitute, a hoe, or even a man that'll just sleep with anybody. I feel sorry for that. Because when we was created, we was wonderfully made, and some of us will just give ourselves up for anything. They ain't got to know each other. The Bible says in verse 24 that God gave them up. Let them do what they wanted to do. They filthy thoughts. They did shameful things with their body. The reason why I just said what I just said, because this is your temple. If the truth be told, most of us, if we had to tell it, we'll say, I don't want to tell it. But JT, I done, man, I done hold around so much, man, I probably ain't going to be no good when they get married. I had a woman told me the other day she done slept with so many men that she lost count 20 years ago. She said, my body is ruined. She said, I, 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 I pretty much have just punished my body. It made me think of this scripture right here. To dishonor your body. With all the drugs and drinking and whoring around and, and, and prostitution and, and and whatever, the dope, whatever you want to call it that you put into your body, the poison, the disrespect to the temple, then the temple, then we want to we cry out when we're in the hospital. 
all the overeating, all the disrespect to the body. Now, Father God, I need you to heal me. What fuss so you can continue to do the same thing? Why give you a healing if you ain't healed spiritually? Because if you're not healed spiritually, what well, JT is says, though, you know, you know, by his stripes I'm healed. Don't you also, you better also recognize just talking about spiritually. Because what good is being healed physically if you're not healed spiritually? You're going to continue to still be a hoe if you're not healed spiritually. You're going to continue to get drunk. You're going to continue to hoe around. You're going to continue to do everything that's wrong if you are not healed spiritually. Can I get the church to say amen? Look at verse 25. Who changed the truth of God into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. How many people in love with what they done got, but they done forgot who gave it to them? How many people are worshiping they things instead of the creator? They done put they all, oh, what did the Bible say? You can't serve two masters. Two masters could be anything. Your job, them women you love, fellas. Whatever it is that you have in front of the Most High have became your master. I'm talking to you. Don't get scared. Don't jump back. I'm just, I'm just, I'm, wake up call. It's a wake up call. They turned the truth into a lie. When you cut on the television, what do you hear? A prosperity gospel. 99, 99 out of time, you're going to hear, I don't even know if that made sense what I just said. A prosperity gospel. I meant to say nine times out of ten, y'all forgive me. But you're going to hear, sow a seed here. Send your blessings here. Everybody you know now pretty much got a blessing plan. You get the plan while they get the blessing. They leave you stuck out cold. But they, brother, if you but how many of them do you do you hear them say, straighten up your life or you're on your way to hell? Come out of this so you won't go to the lake of fire. You need salvation. You don't hear too many fire preaching, fire and brimstone preaching sermons too much now. Let me move on to verse 26. This is what's wrong with America right here. For this cause. God gave them up into vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. I love these. Look at these two scriptures now where the Bible says God gave them up. Two times, back to back almost, where he say he gave them up in the same chapter. Look at verse, back, back up to verse 24 and then look at verse 26 again. Gave them up. In other words, these women no longer wanted to have sex in a natural way. They did things with each other that were not natural. What do you have now in America? Same-sex marriage. Women raising a daughter while they going with each other. Men in the same house together as lovers trying to raise a son into becoming a man. Things that used to be considered unnatural is considered natural now. God gave them up. Well, JT, you know, man, homosexuality and stuff, man, you know, I'm going to call it what God called it, abomination. Homosexuals and lesbians, I love you. If you happen to be one looking at this video, I pray that you come out of it. I'm not beating you over here and throwing you in the lake of fire. I can't do that. That ain't my job. My job is to correct. But it ain't just homosexuality and lesbian. It's the drunkenness, the shacking up, it's the thieves, it's the murderers, the homongers, the whatever, ever, ever, ever on top of ever out here. You can come out of it. But if you got a reprobated mind, it's too late. Somebody say, JT, quit talking about my family. It's real. Somebody sitting beside you in church could have a reprobated mind right beside you. One of your choir members, one of your congregation members, one of your preachers getting up telling you some stuff that don't even make sense. 
The Bible just said these women no longer did what was natural. The most thing going on is pornography. Say amen, Christian. Some of y'all look at it too. Don't act like you ain't hiding behind closed doors, jacking off, and master oh, JT, you don't went too far. Now I'm going right where I need to go. We got to tell the truth. Church don't even want to talk about sex, and that's the happening thing going on while your 15 year old is thinking about having an abortion. While your teenagers are steady becoming pregnant, when you keep talking about we don't need to talk about that. When is the right time to talk about it? After they get pregnant again, after they have another abortion, what are we going to do? Come to this page. Or, uh, I, I tell you about it. These youngsters need to know the truth. These grown folks need to know the truth. Somebody will catch that later on. Things that's unnatural are natural now. Things that should be natural, what happened to them? These women got turned out. Anything that's going against the Most High's word, he's rejecting it. Hold on, y'all. I can't. I can't leave us out, men. Let me move on to the very next verse because it, it checks the men too. Verse twenty-seven says, and likewise. Also the men leaving the natural use of the woman. Bind in their own lust one toward another, men with men working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was me. <laughs> Y'all do we catch this? The Bible just said the men, Brother P.P. Drawings, they behave the same exact way as the women were doing. In other words, they left the women alone, sound like Solomon Gomorrah, didn't it? But you had rape going on. What do you see now? Child molestation, rape, sodomy. You look at that show, Law and Order, all the time. What's the main word they use? Sodomy. Sodomite. They was raping the men in the Old Testament. They wanted all the men. But now, it's okay for a man to be with a man. According to the Bible, oh no, hell no. See, the, the Constitution is more important than the Bible now. The flag is more important than the cross now. Somebody catch that later on. These men did shameful things with each other. Back in the old T, that was called abomination. And your blood was on your head. You should be die. You should be dead behind that. See, we all supposed to be dead, according to, to the Bible. Because none of us was good. Some of y'all think y'all you wasn't that good either. I ain't mean to scare you again. All of us. But if you repent, if you confess, if you give it up, that's the right way to go. Look at verse 28. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. Verse 28 is when God totally rejects you. Totally rejects you. Well, God, so man, God know my heart. God know, man, hey man, I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do, but I'm still making it in heaven. You better read verse 28 again. You done been gave over to a reprobated mind to do the things which are not convenient. Verse 29 says, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, convexiousness, malasciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit. Woo! Can I go on? JT, did you just call out fornication? Yep. What's going on in the world? The most thing going on, fornication. What's the biggest problem in the church? Fornication. Begging for money. Fornication. Shacking up. Living wrong. Holes in the choir stand. 
holes in the congregation. Let's just keep it real. Tell the truth. It's something of everything sitting in the church, whether you want to say amen or not. Well, JT, I know what's going on in the world. Yeah, you better open up the church doors, too. See, I get sick of church folk I always trying to act like the church is perfect. Like ain't nobody in the church doing what the world is doing. When the truth be told, you can't even tell the difference. And, and half of these churches now, they look more worse than the world do. Full of jealousy. I ain't talking to her. She sat in my seat. I don't want to play the keyboard beside him. That fool, I always want to be the only one preaching. This fool always begging for money. It goes on and on and on, y'all. And I'm not talking about every church. Look at verse 30. Backbiters. Oh, I left out one in 29. Whisperers. Oh, where them gossipers at? I like, I like when the Bible say malice. They got malice in their heart. That's evilness. Ain't no good in you. But let's look at verse 29, 30, and 31 all together. Since we just read 29, let's finish 30 and 31, and then we'll close out with 32. Backbiters. Haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to their parents. Old school song where they say what they do. They smile in your face. Backstabbers. Backbiters. Are you one? I ain't mean to scare you again. Say haters of God. How many of y'all hanging around a hater of God? They despiteful. Proud. They boastful. They love evil. They can't stand their own parents. I hope it's not one of you I'm talking to. Because I pray for you. Now let's read 31. Without understanding. There it is. Covenant breakers without natural affection and placeable unmerciful. I'm reading out the same Bible you're looking at. But do you believe in what you read? Can you live what you read? I know it's not easy, but are you trying? He just said without understanding. And when you don't have understanding, you're going to live any kind of way. Covenant breakers. Look at verse 32. Who knowing the judgment of God they that which commit such things are worthy of death. Not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. These people knew that the Most High said that anyone who acts this way, lives this way, they deserve to die. And they won't make it to heaven. They know this. But they still choose to live and do what they want to do. They got their own way. They're on their way through that wide gate, as Matthew 7 talked about. It's going to be many people going through that wide gate, starting with the church first. They kept on doing evil things. They think they're on their way, they on their way to heaven in that wide gate. And they really believe and convince that they can get you in there, but they on their way to destruction. Damnation. They even in these scriptures here, they even encourage other people to do what they was doing. There are going to there gonna be some people and ill some people that encourage you to stay messed up. Because they messed up. They don't want to grow. They don't want you to grow. And misery loves company, y'all. Man, what you want to read the Bible for? What you want to change for? Ain't going to be no better, man. You might as well stay the way you are. Stay like we are. Get off and around them type of people. Don't let nobody drag you in the lake of fire with them. Fools who think they are wise. May the most high bless you.